Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and I play Dead by Daylight, so you don't have to. Scott Jun's Twitter account just to, continues to be a barrage of bad takes, holy fucking shit. Uh, I don't want to, again, I don't want to be here too long commenting on this shit, but, uh, he, Scott, Scooty here, Scooty McJudy, fucking made an attempt to respond to the very obvious criticism leveled at him and his bullshit over the past couple years. And again, whenever Scoot responds to a, a criticism, he doesn't think, he just rushes and, 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 and types something. Um, so, that's about the same level of response we're gonna actually give this fucking shit. Um, just, like, what's off the top of my head reading this. Year 8 and a ton of DVD players not understanding balance is not directly related to fun. Which is something that we, everybody that has a brain fucking knows. And obviously, well, the fact that he typed this up means that we're not the only one saying this to him. Like, he, he is hearing this everywhere. Because his, if, I'm just saying, Scoot, if you're hearing the same thing from multiple fucking people, you might have an issue You uh, that do not know each other. If you're hearing the same thing from multiple people that do not know each other, do not have ever any anything in common with each other, other than the fact that they're telling you this, they might have valid criticisms against you. They just might. So... Scooty McTootie here. You think X is boring because X is strong. So here are Scoot's four counterexamples to, to that notion in quotes. Trapper, very terrible and boring. Wesker, very good and fun. Clown, terrible and boring. Oni, very good and very fun. Okay, let's start with the very easy one, which is Wesker. Yeah. Um, hey, Scoot, I know, you've been out, I know you're out of touch with the killer community because you're too busy taking Survivor cock in the ass, but Wesker is one of the most complained about killers even in the killer community, by the way. Not a lot, like, like, like a, a lot of killers are commenting on the boring design of Albert fucking Wesker. So, like, that character is fucking designed, like, total shit. He doesn't really, like, like he's, he's designed bad. He's not bad at anything. He gets. I think. I think he should not get a fucking notification when somebody uses a vial, or the spray. I don't think the character needs a notification for that. I think Nemesis does because Nemesis is dog shit. But because Wesker has high lethality, he doesn't need information. He should earn his information, right? So, but and again, Wesker's lethality is also stupid as shit. If the Wesker knows the exploits and executes, the survivor can do nothing about it. That, 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 that's like top tier syndrome. Wesker is boring as fuck to go against. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I, well, again, Wesker's his character. Sc Wesker and Oni were at one time his characters. Scoot also, this is another thing about Scoot, he gives his free character, he gives his characters a pass all, all the time. He gives his characters a pass. Huntress, he always has fun in S tier, despite the fact that she can throw hatchets that are not reactable, and they also go fucking 50 meters over your head and still hit you. Despite all of that, he has Huntress in fucking S tier for fun. Terrible. Absolutely terrible and hypocritical. Fucking terrible. Trapper, terrible and boring. Okay, Scoot, let me tell you what, like, like he's actually strawmanning the real argument here. Strawmanning Scoot is at it again. The argument is balance and fun go hand in hand. Balance is not directly related to fun. It's he, like that's not he straw he then strawmans the argument by saying it's always using X is boring because X is strong. Trapper terrible and boring. Do you know why Trapper's boring? Because if you pick Trapper, you play like a fucking bitch. Do you know why you play like a fucking bitch? Because your character is fucking dog shit and sucks. So if you want to fucking play Trapper right, you got to fucking trap the basement. That's your fucking build, is trap the basement. Or, or just, just fucking lock an area down. Like, get a hook and lock an area down. That's what you're doing with, this, with that stupid character. Because he's horrible. He's horrible and can't do anything else. Right? So, yes, that is a, that is a balance-related issue. Trapper is trash, and the good trappers play like bitches because they suck. The character's trash, and they have to play like bitches in order to win. I'm assuming you're talking about high-level trapper. I'm assuming you're not just talking about, oh, I'm gonna run away from the trapper that's chasing me and not locking an area down. Like I'm assuming you're not talking about that. If you are, then you're then you're looping M1. That's the most fun thing for a survivor in this game because that's all they want. If, if every killer does not follow typical M1 rules, then then they're not fun to play against, right? 
Again, that's another thing. That's another thing. It is, like, Survivor's just straight boring about everything. That's another problem as well. Like, they, every character's boring. Every character's boring, bro. Every single one. You can find us. This is why fun, fun is subjective, Scott. Isn't that what they say? Fun is subjective. That's the problem. You can't objectively qualify this stupid stat. I don't know why you are obsessed with it. It is a subjective thing. It is a subjective thing. Maybe I like running around and looking for trapper traps mid-chase. Maybe I find that fun. You can't tell me I don't because I do. You can, like Maybe I like looping a trapper, make sure I'm looking at pallets and corners to see if there are traps there. Maybe I like doing that. Maybe I like the feeling of catching them and then not getting avoid, not, not getting trapped, and I like that. I like that feeling it gives me. You can't tell me I don't because it's subjective. It's a stupid thing to even talk about. And we have wasted so much fucking time in this community talking about this fucking bullshit. Terrible. Clown. Let's move on to clown. Again, what the fuck's clown supposed to do? Terrible and boring. It's like, what, 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 what about clown is boring? I don't understand. Is it just because his chase is pre-dropping? Is it because he's pre- Okay, well, how about this? Let's, if you want to make clowns chase more fun, and instead of, instead of giving a, uh, a pre-drop counter to everything clown has, how about let's let clown have acid to corrode pallets? Maybe his gas has an acid to corrode pallets that are dropped. So maybe he doesn't have to kick every single thing. So it's like, okay, clown's going to rotate around. Instead of kicking the pallet, he's going to throw a bottle at it, and then, and then he's going to fucking... Gas is going to pump up, and it's going to fucking corrode it over time. How about that? And any, any subsequent vault makes it break immediately. How about that? That would, be, that would make clowns' chases more engaging. But guess what it would also do? It's a balance issue. It's a balance issue. Because pre-dropping is so strong against the clown, there's no reason not to do it. Therefore, the character has a boring chase. Because there's no reason not to pre-drop. Because the clown can't do anything to cover it. It's a balance problem. Balance and fun go hand in hand. Not something being strong, just strong, and these four counterexamples don't do anything. Oni, the the debate on Oni's quality has been around for a while. Oni, I can definitely tell you, was trash during the Circle of Healing meta. When the heals popped in fucking 10 seconds and healing was more busted than it's ever been, Oni fell like two tears. He still hasn't fully recovered. And again, Oni's chase is fun. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Okay, are you sure? Because 9 out of 10 Onis, Scoot, down you at Blood Fury at Dead Zones. You're either at a tile and they can't get you, or you're at a Dead Zone or a Transition and they can. 9 out of 10 Onis cannot get you at fucking tiles. And some tiles, like Jungle Gyms, the power, it actually plays them, or TLs even. Not really TLs, actually, no, no, no. Unless you're Demon Dashing, of course. Some tiles, the power actually plays fucking worse. And then when Oni's not in his power, he's M1 trash. And also, the Survivor meta is dedicated to stopping Oni from being in his power. So if the Oni's chases are so fun, why do Survivors do everything they can to stop Oni from being in his, ch- in his power? Because you don't want Oni in your power, in his power. You don't want that as a Survivor. Oni in his power, is you want to limit that as much as possible in a game. Because balance... That's why. No one, no, because balance. And again, oh, like Oni's quality as a killer, that's, again, that's been debated for years. I give, I cut the kid some slack. A lot of my chat thinks he's trash. A lot of my chat thinks he's, he's terrible. He's absolutely garbage. Now, again, I'm, I, I'm sure, like, I could definitely improve my Oni if I watched a few videos and shit. So I'm not going to write the character off as complete garbage. And I don't think he's complete garbage. I think he has an instant down and can move fast. He's not terrible. But... But it's just, it's just fun. Are you sure, Scoot? Are you sure he's fun? It's like Bubba. It's just, it's like, oh, okay, he's, he's going to down. And then Odie can also camp, which is every killer. This is another thing I've noticed. Every killer in the game has the capacity to be played like a fucking boring bitch. And most of the time, the boring bitch ways to play them are, are the right ways to play them. You ever seen Demogorgon camp with save? All the, the character everybody says is so fun to play against because of his dynamic chase is actually a camper. He can do fucking save into shred and, and fucking just deny rescues. 
he wasn't affected by hook grab changes very much because he can do that. Whereas other killers have to take that basic attack and, and fucking not give, and give the rescue up and do a hook trade there. Demo can get a stuff. If he, if he ventures, he can be, like, like, you know what I'm saying? If you play sub playing suboptimally is fun for Survivor. That's what's fun. When you play suboptimally. The minute you start optimizing your character, they get less fun to play against. And quote unquote. That fun isn't the general term, anyway. Now, of course, I think if the killer's not playing well, the game's boring as shit. That's what I think. If the killer's not making good decisions, I'm, I feel like I'm beating up a baby. And that's boring as shit. That's boring as shit to me. Like, again, you can't tell me it's not... I think when the killer is playing bad, it's boring. I think when the killer's camping and you have to make the correct decisions, that's the fun part. But again, it's like, it's just stupid to even talk about. But again, those are the, those are the four examples that he provided... Trash. Those don't fucking do anything to dispel the notion that balance and fun are directly related. They are. The two that are bad are boring because they're weak. Wesker's just fucking bullshit. Wesker's fucking bullshit. And I can't believe Scott Judd defends that character. I can't believe Scott Judd defends Wesker. Because he plays Wesker. Scott Judd defends all the characters he plays. From a design standpoint. Even though when when their design is terrible. When a killer design is terrible, I will tell you. Skull Merchant, terrible. Wesker's design is bad. It's not as bad as Skull Merchant. Wesker's design is bad. Like, when a killer's design is bad, I will tell you. This, this is terrible. This is shit. Scott Jun's fucking tweet he sent out fucking 20 minutes ago or whatever the fuck. Shit. It's fucking awful. And a very half-hearted attempt to dispel a very obvious criticism against his fucking arguments. And I'm sure you will see a video on this topic in the next, in the next day or two. This man is trash. Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. GG's.